Before the news report start, please like the video, so we can make 1000 likes to this report. Subscribe to our secondary channel, Stefan Nightingale, by clicking the link in the description, where we post more daily breaking news. Activate the notification by clicking the bell icon, so every time we post you'll get a notification from YouTube. Leave your patriotic opinion in the comment section below in order to get this video viral. Also, share this video on Facebook and Twitter so your friends can see it. Thank you so much for your support, and now the new Trump, Putin make announcement on collusion and Dems go insane. U.S. President Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin spoke for more than an hour on Friday, discussing the possibility of a new nuclear accord, North Korean denuclearization, Ukraine and the political situation in Venezuela, the White House said. Had a long and very good conversation with President Putin of Russia, Trump said in a post on Twitter, noting they had discussed trade, Venezuela, Ukraine, North Korea, nuclear arms and special counsel Robert Mueller's investigation of Russian meddling in the 2016 U.S. presidential campaign. White House spokeswoman Sarah Sanders told reporters Trump and Putin talked about the possibility of a new multilateral nuclear accord between the United States, Russia, and China or an extension of the current U.S.-Russia strategic nuclear treaty. She called it an overall positive conversation. The two men, who last chatted informally at a dinner of world leaders in Buenos Aires on December 1, briefly talked about the report Mueller report that concluded Trump did not collude with Russia during his 2016 presidential campaign. The Mueller probe discussion was essentially in the context of that it's over and there was no collusion, which I'm pretty sure both leaders were very well aware of long before this call took place. Sanders said. The Kremlin confirmed the two leaders talked and highlighted in its statement that the call was initiated by Washington. It said the two leaders agreed to maintain contacts on different levels and expressed satisfaction with the businesslike and constructive nature of the conversation. With the United States concerned about a Russian military presence in Venezuela at a time when Washington wants Venezuela and President Nicolas Madward to leave power. Trump told Putin the United States stands with the people of Venezuela and stressed he wanted to get relief supplies into the country, Sanders said. Putin told Trump that any external interference in Venezuela's internal business undermines the prospects of a political end to the crisis, the Kremlin said. The 2011 New START Treaty, the only U.S.-Russia arms control pact limiting deployed strategic nuclear weapons, expires in February 2021 but can be extended for five years if both sides agree. Without the agreement, it could be harder to gauge each other's intentions, arms control advocates say. The New START treaty required the United States and Russia to cut their deployed strategic nuclear warheads to no more than 1,550, the lowest level in decades, and limit delivery systems, land and submarine-based missiles and nuclear-capable bombers. It also includes extensive transparency measures requiring each side to allow the other to carry out 10 inspections of strategic nuclear bases each year give 48 hours notice before new missiles covered by the treaty leave their factories, and provide notifications before ballistic missile launches. Trump has called the New START treaty a bad deal and one-sided. They discussed a nuclear agreement, both new and extended, and the possibility of having conversations with China on that as well, Sanders said. The Kremlin said the two sides confirmed they intended to activate dialogue in various spheres, including strategic security. Sanders also said that two leaders discussed Ukraine. Trump canceled a summit meeting with Putin late last year after Russia seized three Ukrainian Navy ships on November 25 and arrested 24 sailors. Putin also told Trump that the new leadership in Ukraine should take steps to solve the Ukrainian crisis, the Kremlin said. Trump also raised with Putin the issue of getting North Korea to dismantle its nuclear weapons and ballistic missile programs. Trump has met twice with North Korean leader Kim Jong-un but Kim has yet to agree to a disarmament deal. Sanders said Trump mentioned several times the need and importance of Russia stepping up and continuing to put pressure on North Korea to denuclearize. The Kremlin said both leaders highlighted the need to pursue denuclearization of the region. During an April summit with Kim in Vladivostok, Putin expressed Russian support for a gradual process of trading disarmament. Thank you for watching our video. Please support us by sharing this video, so your friends can see it. Give us a thumbs up to this video and leave us a comment below with your opinion on this subject. Thank you.